What's going down, everybody? It's your boy, that guy, my high tuning back in for another reaction. This time we got another one of them currents, and this time it's when Karens go to prison, part six. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into this and see what they got going on. But before we do that, we got to give a big shout out to all the members of the channel real quick. Um, so let's run through that. Let's run through y'all. Appreciate y'all. We got Wild Turkey, Jamal, Netcoast, Lynn, uh, Kara, Epic, Driver Thoughts, Misty, Ryan, Mr. Pair Forest, Sam, Keith, Manly, Funny Farm, Happy Chick, Holla Girl, Taylor, Marla, Diesel, Nick, Creatively Insane, Nicole, Aaron, Mama Dukes, Ryan Lynn, Ryan Lynn, Robin Lynn, <laughs> shout out Robin, um, Liz, Nugget, My Hood Life, and Gary. Gang, 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 you dig what I'm saying if I want to get a shout out on all the videos and the lives, think about hitting that join button down below. If not, please just subscribe and hit the bell notification. It's free 99, baby. And I, I'm begging you, please subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this video. <laughs> hit the full screen. Shout out to Elusa for this video right here. Let's go. It's no surprise that Karens are hated. However, we all do enjoy them getting what they deserve. So if you hate Karens but love watching them get what they deserve, then this video is for you. Starting things off, we have this lady who went viral after a neighborhood argument back in August with NFL star Terrell Owens. And she has learned that giving false information to cops can land you in some consequences. I'm good. What's up, sir? Yeah, What's going on, folks? I'm driving to my mailbox. Mm -hmm. She telling me I'm speeding, telling me oh, to slow right. down. Just slow down. And he rolled down his window and he started harassing. First of all, I didn't harass you. She telling me to slow down. I said, what do you mean slow down? I said, yo, I'm just going to the mailbox. And then she goes, get the out of the middle of the road. First of all, I didn't I almost hit you. Now you're just making up stuff. No, I literally just like a Karen. Just like a Karen. I did, how did I almost hit you? And I'm going to the mailbox. Yeah, I called you a Karen when I came over here after you said I called the police. Absolutely. Then you then you went on to say, oh, I'm the, the subject of the HO meeting, this and that and the other. I got liens and my house, this and that and the other. Then you start bringing up my status, who I was, my HBO, my VH1. You the one brought it up, lady. I did it. You did it. You did. First of all, first first of all, I didn't almost hit her. No, 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 I'm fine, sir. I, first of all, I didn't almost hit her. I understand that. Just relax. I'm not finna sit up here. He ran the stop sign. Well, there is no stop sign. What are you talking about? I understand that. What she says next just shows that she is wrong in this situation. A white woman. First of Whoa. all, you had your, your boy right here, your husband right here. So first of all, I don't do that type of okay, stuff. Relax. You did. You put your car in park and you came uh, at yeah, me. Yeah, I, I first of all, I didn't come at you. Yes, you, can, you did. You can stop all of that, Karen. <laughs> okay, listen. Get out of here with all of that. <laughs> Whoa. He literally came this after is, me. <laughs> here she crying. There's Karen. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Swear to God, I've never been a part of nothing like this. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yes, I've seen it, but this is firsthand. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I'm just like, boom. My fucking brain is exploding. Like, what? This is real. This is real. This is real. This is real. I've never seen it. I've seen it, but I've never been a part of this. This is real life. And now she's crying. Her husband tried to tell her to go in the house, but no, she wanted to do the whole Karen thing. So I'm going to be here with my camera. To show everything. Apparently, right. this Karen knows everything. Oh, this is real. This is real life in 2022. This is real life Karen stuff. <laughs> and I've she crying. I've never seen. I do. I've seen it on 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 TV. I've seen it on video. But th I've never really been a part of something like this. This is unbelievable. Then she right. brought up that I'm the subject of <laughs> HOA. Said everybody's been talking about me, my my house. I don't keep up with my house. I got liens. I don't pay my fines. Everything. I how do I know? Cause she told me. Karen. <laughs> Kate, close enough. Kate. Kate, close enough. So when I drove by, she said she called the police. I was like, cool. I'm going to sit right here till they come. <laughs> I'm going to sit right here till they come. And she over there crying. Yo, she, she just started crying just now. Oh, when they rolled when that, up. Yeah. But you know, oh, yeah. she started crying. <laughs> what? <laughs> Caitlin Davis was later identified where she learned her consequences for her false allegations. It was reported that Caitlin Davis was charged with a second degree misdemeanor for filing a false police report. Good. She's due back in Broward County courtroom on December 6th. For some backstory to this next is. clip, we have this Karen who threatens <laughs> these workers. Wild, like, but not oh, only man. that, she attempts to cause harm to them by throwing rocks multiple times before she starts to say some rude remarks. Take a look. Get over and clean this mess up! Oh, it is here not to throw your head off. Oh. Take that 
that up. Y'all did it last week, then. You do it this week. Get it up. Do you understand this? We pay for this. This is our area. This is where you work. You're sitting out here where we work. You understand that? All right, get it up. You're the guy that drives the white truck last like week came and picked all this stuff up you did out here. This is all. She doesn't stop there as she also decides Whoa. to say a racist comment. Y'all don't have no respect for nothing. No respect because you know what? You don't have nothing. Whoa. You don't have nothing. You have no respect for anybody else. Okay. You have no damn Fuck you. You're a hard damn lady. You have nothing. You have no respect. Fucking bitch. They got more respect you than you do. You learn how to speak You learn how to speak English if you had any disrespect for yourself. Wow. Get that stuff picked up or I'll come out here and I'll start busting windows. <coughs> yeah, you, you do that. You, little... you do that, you stupid I bitch. I'm surprised you know how to work a camp. Somebody a just smack Lucky her. for this Karen because the workers decided that to not Karen press charges bitch. on her But she did become viral with multiple people commenting they should have pressed charges Now we bring yeah. you Sophia Rosing who has learned that money doesn't give you the right to treat people the way that she treated these people Now she knows that it can land you in some serious consequences And it doesn't work in Florida because guess what? I'm rich as and you're obviously not compared to what you're wearing And I can do you and you can't do s*** about it Especially because you don't know but that's not the first wow. time she berated her fellow Just push peers. her down the stairs. Whoa! Punch her in the face. And push her down the stairs. Just punch her in the face down the stairs. How about that? Trip her. Just do something. Kick her in the knee. Kick. Bust that bitch shit. Yeah, I got this. And I just... You just this is the kiss your entire future away, babe. Time. She's hitting twice. She's kicking me in the stomach. Uh, yeah. I don't know what my phone is, but she's stepped on my phone. Yeah. I picked it up. I have it. Thank you. Even people passing wow. approach her trying to make her stop. Wait, wait, where'd the audio go? No. Sophie Rosing was arrested and placed into custody on charges of intoxication in a public place, third degree assault on a police officer, fourth degree assault, and second degree disorderly conduct. Her bond has been set at $10,000. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there because the university she they studied at also out? released a statement online stating, Miss Rosing is no longer at the University of Kentucky. Good. She will not be eligible to re-roll as a student. She is permanently banned from campus. Good. And you might have thought Fuck that was her. all, but the company she ambassadors for also commented about the situation saying Dillard's does not condone this behavior. Her relationship <laughs> oh, with Dillard's damn. has been terminated immediately. Most she of us understand how annoying an underpaid stand, working in customer bitch. service sector can be. So the majority of people treat those employed in it with respect and dignity. Mm, However, mm, there mm. always seems to be a Karen or Kevin not too far away to make it miserable. Just like this next Kevin. Because you all made a mistake? Not really, no. So you want to get mad and hit the computer because you made a mistake? Because your company made a mistake? You want to take it out on me? I'm not taking it out on you. So why did you get mad and hit the computer? Why did you get mad and hit the computer? I'm sure you're on camera, right? He continues to record even though you can clearly see the worker is clearly upset. I got to go, man. I got to go. You ruined my whole life, man. What? Wow. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck? <laughs> wow.
The video was later <laughs> posted online the... where many viewers Fuck. were appalled at the way the customer treated someone who was clearly in crisis. The worker later quit his job over the incident and the unwanted viral fame that followed. The young worker received death threats and that the family of the customer has been calling the hotel threatening lives and jobs. A GoFundMe what? was created by an ex-employee to help the young worker get back on his feet while he searches for a new job. It has raised over $137,000. For him Next up, fucking we have this crying on the internet because he got fucking upset and punched the computer and got fucking and, and got recorded because of, oh nigga that's all it takes to get $137,000 from a bunch of sympathetic people is cry on the internet after you got through a temper tantrum like nigga do you think it was an adult throwing a grown ass man throwing a fucking temper tantrum and shit yeah, you was recorded not by just the person who you fucking was trying to, supposed to be helping, you didn't help, supposed to be helping, but the fucking lobby recorded it too, so I'm sure some, that video probably would have made it out eventually. Charged just with saying. a simple non-violent misdemeanor <clears throat> for possession, but ended up That's facing wild. this judge. There's probable cause, bond is $1,000. Are GoFundMe. you requesting a court-appointed lawyer? Fucking A. I guess, sir. Give me a yes or no. Yeah. Give me a yes or a no. Yeah. I asked a question that calls for a yes or a no. I don't expect anything but a yes or a no. Not a mm-hmm, maybe I, so, or a yeah, or I anything else. Yeah. Or something. I, I heard what you said. Your bond just went up to $2,000. The judge was not at wow. all impressed with her answer and changes her life with arbitrary and punitive bail. Moving forward, it seems <laughs> like Karens and Kevins are starting very uh, young these dumb. days. Like these two high school boys that learned that actions do have some consequences after posting a racist video on social media. There, there are everywhere. Hey, they ran out. Really? The Huma Police Fucking Department released a statement stating the video was posted on social media where the video children. quickly circulated and the authorities were notified. As a result of the investigation, the two students were charged with inciting a riot, hate crimes, and cyberbullying. It seems like these days that everyone gets mad over the slightest inconvenience, like this next clip. <laughs> What Karen, the are you okay? Fuck. What happened? Can you explain to me calmly? No, because you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking no, you. Ma'am, you flicked me no, off. You're ready to take it. Guys, this is her license plate number. She lives no, here. This is her address. No, this is not true. No, Karen, you flipped me off. No, you cut me off like and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? Guys, she flipped me off. She literally flipped me off, and then she tried to come home. She's Karen. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why you? Am I attacking her? Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me off, and you thought you could get away with it. You didn't think I would find you. What the? Nigga, it was not that serious to pull up on her, but she is definitely what happened. She flipped me off three blocks no away, and then reason. she slammed on her brakes. I have it on my Instagram, and then I got on my car, and I was like, ma'am, why are you following me? Why? She literally followed me. So then I followed her back home, and I said, ma'am, why are you being harassing me? Ma'am, listen for about what? Can I speak to you? The video later received 8 million views with multiple comments questioning who really was the Karen in this situation. Who do you think the Karen Yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to figure out, too, honestly. Like, both of them don't seem like, like, they, like, the dude, like, nigga, you got mad at her for fucking flipping you off and break checking you to the point where, like, you met, didn't follow her. Like, nigga, what? Like... And your story kept changing. She flipped me off, and then I, she thought I wasn't going to find her. She flipped me off, and then she cut me off. And then she flipped me off, and then she cut me off, or break checked me, and then she followed me and harassed me, and then I followed and harassed her back, and it's like, what, bro? And then she's just sitting here fucking hysterical as shit that you just, at this point, you're just like, bro, I don't even want to, I just want to walk away. Like, what, what do you do? Like, the fuck? Like... Yeah, I don't know what that was, or bro. Both. Let me know in the comments with your thoughts. We have come across this Karen who blocks this lady in <laughs> because she thinks that the lady recording is supposed to be a robber. So since I'm an African-American female, I'm supposed to be a robber? Ma'am, I have a degree in criminal justice. 
I have a degree in criminal justice. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Like, lady, please. And I'm on the clock. I'm literally working for Instacart, sir. And I told her exactly where apartment I went in. And she is being very racist and very nasty. That's no, why I called police. Ma'am, do not step up here. I, I'm, I'm scared of her. I was gonna say, yeah. I think you should be able to leave. Yeah, she's blocking me in. I know. She won't let me leave, but the po I called the police, so they're on the way. So they're gonna make her leave regardless. And I may just press charges because I feel threatened. Yeah. Like she walked up on my car. Ma'am, please stop. Ma'am, please back up. What she says next yeah, is just leave. hilarious. <laughs> oh, she didn't tell me she was with Instacart. She just did. I already did in the beginning. So come on, sir. You can look at the groceries in the back. I see. I, I have another. I have another delivery. She's holding if, if me you up. Both want, if you both want, sir, back up, ma'am. Back up, ma'am. Back up, ma'am. Please back up, ma'am. Would, would you? Did you want to leave, or do you want to wait for the police? I've been wanting to leave. All the reason I called the police is because the lady would not allow me to move. Um, the guy told me to park in guest. He told me to park in the guest parking. Doesn't that say guest? I, I had no idea. This is my first time being here. Right, and I can show you everything if you want to look on my phone. The guy told me to park yeah. in the guest and come up the stairs. This yeah. is the guest and that's the stairs, like literally on the other side of that door. Yeah, um, she definitely, uh, I think... Yeah, I said, ma'am, I'm not, I said, ma'am, I'm not robbing. Like, yeah. ma'am, don't look, yeah, come on now. Well, okay. all right, well, <laughs> you're free to go and deliver the rest of your stuff. And Thank you, sir. Despite the whole incident, Bruh, the lady really? reporting did not press charges. I mean, of course, because it was such a petty ass, stupid, just like one of them, like, bitch, my your business situations. Just my your business, ho. Goddamn. <laughs> Anyways, man, y'all let me know what you thought about that down in the comments below. Which one was the craziest one out of this little compilation? And uh, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.